is, yeah, when we get good results, we enjoy it, and don't get us wrong, like, we go after it, but um, if we lose a game, we're not pointing at somebody and blaming anybody, we're not crying about it, we're not, you know, it's, okay, cool, let's use this opportunity to get better. If you tape the game, awesome, like, let's watch it, like, let's find out, like, the, the, it's going to tell us a story, it's going to tell us that we didn't play good defense, it's going to tell us that we didn't rebound, it's going to tell us that we were taking good shots instead of great shots, you know, it's, it's going it, to, we're going to learn something from that, so really it's just about, like, you know, the best version of yourself and the best version of our team, like, let's just strive for that. Let's just work towards that. And it's funny, like, once you stop caring, you know, about the results and you just care about the process and you focus on the things that you can control, um, ironically, the the results are good. Like, more times than not, you're going to get a good result. Um, But I think that's what's really important was, you know, the original group um, that I started with, um, we weren't getting great results at all. So instead of getting frustrated and mad and upset, it, it, there was just no point in thinking that way. So it had to be, what can we do to get better? Like, how can we find a way to get better? And by asking that question and, and by doing it in a way where we supported each other and it really, you know, really created that positive environment, even though the results weren't good, over time we just learned to just focus on what we could do. Um, and that's where the results started to change. And we started winning a lot of games in turn. Uh, and focusing on like effort, like <laughs> it's cool to give your best effort. Like it's cool, you know, it, go, why go like, if we're going 70%, we can't, we can't comp- expect our results to change. We can't expect to get better. None of those things. So we know that at our trainings, if we make it tough, you know, tough in a good way. But if we t- if we make it tough um, and competitive and really get after it, then when we get into a game setting, we're ready for that. It's nothing. That's what we do. You know, it's we've created a group that's used to going out and competing. Um, any opportunity we get, and and funnily enough, like some a lot of teams just aren't quite competing like that. So uh, you know, our trainings can be more difficult than games. And when you create that, that's when, you know, when the, and look, adversity is going to come. You might, might play against a really massive team or a team that's just more experienced or, you know, a team that's got some just monster kid or whatever it is. Like, you know, those things will happen, but we, we do it as a group. Um, we win together, we lose together, um, but we're going to have fun with this. Um, we're going to support each other. Um, We're going to give each other honest feedback and yeah, we've created this, uh, this program that we're really, really proud of Um, and you know, I I love it. I love this program. Um, Yeah, I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier with it.